better than tomatoes to buy. And that good work boys are sometimes your best friends. We've learned healthy points. The start against Idaho State goes strong. The tip of the been the case so far. And so rejected fellas behind. Here comes Penny, the shooter, so he's got great touch. Grim inside, able to draw the foul. I think they're going to credit Rob Lewis. These are tough. There's Penny. Against Penny trying to get inside to Morgan Grim. The Grim Reaper goes out. Here's Brock Heath. Back outside, Medlin for three. Got it. Brock Heath, Medlin calling for it. Payne. To that point, there's Medlin again. Reed. Reed's one of those post players. There's Brock Heath in the lane. Or Denver leading Utah State. 34-29, the football team being honored right now at half. The Aggie football team, they are bowl eligible for the first time since 1997. Here's now some highlights from the famous Idaho Potato Bowl press conference. I speak to you, uh, they're far more important than uh, us old coaches. 23% three-point shooter makes good that time. This one fall, the tip dies. I think Grim gets credit for that. Well, this is to work with when I first got here. Recruiting just continues to improve for the scores two more. A nice Medlin hanging and hitting. In the last couple possessions. Mitch, open look at a three, puts it on the floor and scores. Good to see Mitch Brunil. Brunil's a strong wing. System there with the Bengals and the Pioneers. Here is Reed. Sean Reed did not know we would see him tonight. Front iron, Stafford knocks a free. Clifford picks it up. Grimm on the floor in pain. We talked about Aggie in double figures with 11. Here's Luton. Ferris trying to set up Clifford. And Aggie again. Well, DU put on a clinic tonight. I thought, uh, I thought they were really, really good. You can see their experience, you can see their system working. They took advantage of, of uh, our miscues and our inexperience and just dominated us. Uh, we got outplayed, we got out coached, we just got out everything. And it's, uh, you know, it's tough. We've been good in this building. It's tough to, to have a showing like that, but all you can really do is go back to the drawing board tomorrow and try and get better. And that's what we'll do and give them all the credit they deserve. Got a bunch of seniors that are tough and physical and can shoot it. And, and they got a really good system. And those guys have been in the system for a long time. And they do a great job in it. And uh, they deserve all the all the allocates you can think of tonight. Um, yeah, they did a real good job um, moving the ball, sharing the ball. Um, shot the heck out the ball, too. They did a very good job of going to three-point line. Uh, I uh, didn't do a very, very good job of keeping a man in front of us. Just like I said, um, beginning of the year, it's, it's a young team, so we just got to continue to get get better. Like I said, um, Spectrum wasn't this loud, but like I said, um, us guys, we got to just be able to just bounce back from this. Take coaching, learn what we got to do in the fan room, and just get better. And just keep practicing and just keep coming. It's one of our mottos, just keep coming and win our niggas game and stay as a family. So. It's a long season, it's just November, about to be December now, so you can try to just get on the winning streak, just, just keep playing and improving each and every day. No, I mean, we knew we knew they were a good team. I think we just made uh, little simple mistakes that, that got us beat, got them some open threes, got them some backdoor layups that we weren't supposed to give up, and it just happened. I've had inexperienced teams. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I don't, yeah, I've, I've, I've had this. It's been a while, you know. Uh, you look at the, the the streak that was broken tonight. With you, know, you look at 12 straight postseasons. You look at the number of games we won at home. You know those were pretty good things. And maybe we're taking for granted a little bit. This is reality. This is what most people deal with. You're not you're not going to have years where you're not good every year. It just doesn't work that way. We got 
And I've known that for a long time. You've probably heard me talk about it a million times, and I knew this day was coming. It's here. We'll see how we respond. Is this salvageable? I'm sure. Sure, we'll yeah. get better. Brady's not playing. I mean, Brady's pretty good. No, because, I mean, you said, like, you said, like, you know, you knew this day was coming. but I knew this day was coming while we're bad. Right. <laughs> but can <laughs> you get better? Can you get better well, over Of course we can get better. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to come back tomorrow and try and get better. We'll get better. Uh, you know, if you go out of here thinking I'm preaching gloom and doom, you're not listening. I've said we'll get better about 300 times. We will get better. So you can write what you want to write. That's my message. We will get better.